Greetings YouTube. Today, the hood's intentional. MRAs make a 46 minute cut of The Last Jedi The edit that edits out all the women. Think about that for a second. They've edited out all the women in the film because they are, in their opinion, the women had too much involvement in the story. Uploaded to the Pirate Bay by an anonymous user, the last edit, defeminized fan edit, is, according to their own description, basically the last Jedi minus girls, power, and other silly stuff. You might be wondering how this is possible, seeing as the film is still a ways off at its DVD release date, but the intrepid nerdlings have decided to make this uh, possible. We're so impatient for a version of TLJ where boys don't get told off, they used a dodgy camera with hard-coded subtitles. So I think it might have been a preview copy, you know, for reviewing or something. I'm not sure. I'm not positive what this would have would have been, but they got their hands on a copy, and they made an edit by taking out all the women. Now I don't know any of the folks out there who are seeing this are familiar with Star Wars, but but for me, Star Wars was a major, imp majorly important film. I can remember watching it repeatedly in the theater when it was first released. I'm talking about The New Hope, Episode 4. Um, and at between Episode 4 through 6, you know, the good Star Wars? Those are all sausage parties. There aren't any women in that universe except for Leia. Episodes 1 through 3, they actually had some more women, but they were absolute shit. But they were still sausage fests. Okay, so we had six consecutive movies where all the characters that mattered were almost exclusively men. And then we had The Force Awakens, <gasps> a woman character! And we had the Rogue Rogue One, <gasps> another woman character! <laughs> and then, of course, The Last Jedi. Now, we actually have other female focused films in the pipeline. There's a Han Solo movie coming up. I've heard people talking about a Boba Fett and a Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, movie. So there's still going to be sausage fests everywhere. It's still going to be a masculine dominated world. Plus, as much as I love the character of Han Solo and the actor Harrison Ford, let's face it, he was a douche bro in episodes four through six. And it is more than a bit of a mystery why Leia would have anything to do with him at all. Not that kissing her brother was a better idea, mind you. But Han was an absolute ass. And more than just a tad rapey. Harrison Ford's films have that theme repeatedly. I don't blame Harrison Ford. I blame the horrible writing done by men who think that the only way you can describe a relationship between a man and a woman is that the man is an aggressive douche bro. But you need to really put yourself into the frame of mind where these MRAs have decided that the very presence of women in their precious universe of Star Wars is so offensive to them. It is, it is triggering them so bad, and they need a safe space where there are no girls. So no girls allowed was spoken by the 10-year-olds of the internet. And these folks want the rest of us to take them seriously? Because this is going to be horribly popular with these misogynists. And as someone else pointed out in having a discussion about this, how long until there's an edit where they've taken out all the people of color as well? They could they could shave this thing down to like you know an eleven minute film. Just dudes hanging out together in space. No women. Really white. You know. I think there might actually be some gay porn out there that is tailored right to these misogynistic douche bros.